In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, did we not expand for thee thy breast and lift from thee thy burden that weighed heavily upon thy back? And did we not elevate thy renown? For truly with hardship comes ease. Truly with hardship comes ease. So when thou art free, exert thyself and let thy desire be for thy Lord. Salam and hello everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to the Balanced Dean channel. This chapter from the Quran that I've just read is chapter 94, Surah Ashar, also called the Expansion. This surah talks about trials and tribulations, uncertainty and responsibility, and it talks about you know, two of the most recognized words in the surah, hardship and ease. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was in the beginning stages of his journey and calling people to Islam, and he endured a lot. His family endured a lot. His companions endured a lot. And this chapter reflects the fact that even though the Prophet, peace be upon him, felt overburdened with his mission, that he was also reminded to turn to his creator for any and everything, that the light, the expansion, the relief that would eventually come to his heart was achieved by that, returning to his creator. I don't intend to give tafsir today, but I do want to encourage anyone who is interested in getting into the details of when the surah was revealed and you know a little bit more surrounding each ayah or each verse to look at the study Quran. That is what I used today when I was reading earlier. I instead want to remind anyone watching or if you know someone going through a very stressful time, if they feel burdened or they're going through some form of hardship, to know that on the other side, and it could be the next moment, the next day, the next instance, that ease will come. During a time of the year when a lot of people are reflecting on this past year, you know, writing down plans for the next year and hopes for the next year, whether it be on a vision board or something of the like, you know, some of us are still in the middle of trying to figure it all out, you know, wondering where did the year go? Especially if one is challenged, you know, with a physical or mental illness. A colleague of mine was recently diagnosed with breast cancer. And one of the first thoughts I had was, Ya Allah, another one? What is going on? And I called my colleague a day later to let her know that I support her, I'm here for her, and I'm praying for her as she kicks cancer. But it reminded me that even with you know, our questions and struggles and the wonder, you know, us wondering why, 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 our creator knows what we do not know. My colleague was great. She asked for prayers, you know, from everyone and was ready to fight and knew there was hope on the other side. And I was here for it. She was great. That is what I want to remind anyone willing to listen, is to take it one day at a time. You know, to reflect, to dig into gratitude, and to know that with hardship comes ease. And one of the most important points I also want to make is to reach out to someone if you need to talk. And if you have the opportunity to seek professional help, professional guidance, then that would be beneficial for you as well. On my channel, I do talk about various medical conditions and illnesses, you know, health matters, and I also talk about habits to help us get healthy and think about this journey that we are on and how we can be, you know, the most productive in our lives. So if you're interested, please check out my habits and shorts playlist. I hope you will gain some information and knowledge from the information that I have posted. And I do thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Take care.